The NASA's space mission, that will send people back to the moon has been dubbed Artemis, the twin sister of Apollo. And the spacecraft that will take us there is called Orion, named after one of the biggest constellations in the night sky. These missions will allow us to explore more of the moon than ever before, paving the way for long-term presence in lunar orbit. With a diameter of 5 meters and a mass of 25 tons, this is Orion. Only human-rated spacecraft in the world capable of deep space travel. This is Space Launch System, NASA's most powerful rocket since the Apollo. These two solid rocket boosters will provide more than 75% of the thrust necessary to leave Earth. Each booster stands 17 stories tall. Together, these boosters are capable of 7.2 million pounds of thrust and will burn for the first two minutes of flight. The core stage at 212 feet is the tallest rocket stage NASA has ever built. It is designed to hold 2.3 million pounds of fuel, 196,000 gallons of liquid oxygen and 537,000 gallons of liquid hydrogen will combine to provide eight and a half minutes of propellant to the four massive RS-25 engines mounted below. These four engines provide 2 million pounds of thrust in total, and when combined with the SRBs, the SLS can accelerate the Orion to 17,000 miles per hour. The interim cryogenic propulsion stage is a 45-foot tall upper stage that offers Orion with nearly 25,000 pounds of thrust. It will perform two separate burns. First burn will raise Orion to a parking orbit around Earth, and the second burn will propel it out on a trajectory to the Moon. The ICPS is powered by a single RL-10 engine. The European Space Agency's service module is the powerhouse of Orion in space. It stores the spacecraft propulsion, thermal control, electrical power, and critical life support systems. The crew module of Orion is the pressurized section, where future crews will live and work on missions to the moon. It can accommodate four crew members for up to 21 days. The launch abort system is placed on top of Orion and is designed to pull the crew to safety. Three solid rocket motors can activate in milliseconds, pulling Orion away from the rocket and accelerating from 0 to 500 miles per hour in two seconds. Artemis 1 will launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, with 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust provided by the world's most powerful rocket. The unmanned flight will be the first time SLS and the Orion spacecraft will be tested together. Artemis 1 will send Orion beyond the Moon, 280,000 miles from Earth. Farther than any human spacecraft has ever traveled. After the rocket's upper stage separates from Orion, it will deploy small satellites for several days to conduct science experiments. Orion will make its multi-day trip to the Moon, propelled by service module, and will fly about 60 miles above the lunar surface. After about a month, and with a total distance of over 1 million mile, Orion will return home. Entering Earth's atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour, the friction of air will slow the spacecraft, while also subjecting it to temperatures of over 5,000 degrees. At 300 miles per hour, a series of parachutes will be deployed, slowing the craft for splashdown. Artemis 1 is scheduled to launch on August 29, 2022. It will be followed by Artemis 2, it will be the first crew mission to launch in 2024. The manned mission will conduct a lunar flyby test before returning to Earth. Finally, the crew of Artemis 3 will make a lunar landing. They will be the first humans to set foot on the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972. Let us know your thoughts on Artemis program down below. And if you enjoyed this video, notify us by clicking that lovely red button. Thanks for watching. See you soon for our next video.